Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can change the measure dynamically in a chart. So previously if you can see uh, I have shown how you can change the dimension dynamically and then I started thinking well if we can change the dimension we can obviously change the measure but changing the measure is not straightforward like picking a field from the table and just add it like we have done it for the dimension right. So it required some settings and I'll explain you what do you need to do to make sure that you are changing the measure perfectly and getting the most dynamic behavior from your chart. Um, before that just a quick information if you have learned it very first time on my channel then uh, all of these Power BI videos like 208 uh, is something you can find over here in this sheet. The link for this Google Sheet is present in the description that way you can come over here search any of my previously created video dashboard related and all that stuff like tax and all and uh, search it look at the link in column B click here and jump go to that video right uh, so I'm maintaining all of this here so that it is easy for you to access also uh, keeping my exercises as well from uh, workout Wednesday website uh, whatever exercises I am picking it up, I am keeping the video link over here along with the exercise link so that this becomes useful sheet for you or a handy sheet for you. Alright with that let's move on to the Power BI. So here we are in the Power BI and if you remember this is the dimension what we have uh, dynamic dimension behavior what we have done. What if if you want to create a dynamic measure right so again in modeling new parameter field parameter if this is not coming for you or you have no you have no clue like why the fields are not coming well it is because it is a preview feature so make sure the preview feature is enabled by going into the file uh, you have options and settings you have options and in this option you have the preview features over here field parameter is enabled and then you need to restart the Power BI and then within the modeling tab you will get the fields as a uh, value to click on and over here I will say P measure parameter measure and what I'll do is I will simply go ahead and select the measures like we have sales we have profit quantity click create right and uh, we create this and this is a measure which has been created right so over here you see that if I click nothing will happen what you would expect like we have done in case of a dimension we have put the dimension here similarly we will put the measure over here and you would expect that things will start working but nothing is happening right so why this is not happening well it is because well first thing first is I mean what I was doing is some experimentation I will I just clicked I found this value show selected field and it showed but the problem is in each of the case it is showing count and I tried to search like if I can do any change like no calculation percent to total if I click over here uncheck that right nothing happens show values of select or new quick measure you can create out of it but will not give us the desired outcome. Well the reason it is not keeping it over here is because this sales is not aggregated like a measure like a properly aggregated field. So what do you need to do is you need to create the quick the measures right new measure and you need to create a measure for sales like M sales measure sales where you need to provide the aggregation right. Similarly for prof for profit you need to create a new measure for discount you need to create a new measure that means whatever dynamic behavior you need from the parameter you need to create it right so that is something what you need to do okay so once you have created all these measures uh, using the appropriate aggregation you can come over here and uh, this is the one what we created I can repeat the entire process by going into the modeling but over here let me just change it for you so that you can see the some interesting behavior like M sales right similarly I can change this to M profit right and M quantity 
the three measure that I showed you that you need to create and click OK. Right. So once we have done that, let me come over here. So, okay, profit is something there, it has created new. So we have this. And uh, what I'll do is I will simply cross this or first of all, I'll check why the profit is showing it again. Profit should not show it again and profit one. All right, it is not showing it now. <laughs> okay, so I will bring in the measure over here and now the measures are coming properly like 0.8 million profit changing it quantity changing it uh, dynamically. Is it quantity or is it discount? What is this discount not quantity so we can change the name over here from quantity to discount so this is another way by which you can change directly from here if you make silly mistake like this which i am making uh, as to how to change this field parameter but that's the setting you need to do you need to first create the measure that you need in the um, in the field parameter which is in the modeling tab under over here and select this instead of the uh, unaggregated or non-aggregated measures you need aggregated measures like proper measure which has the aggregation applied so that's about it and i'll meet you now in the next video with a new topic